Hi there, and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that is both very delightful and wonderful, and also actually really sensitive to us. Uh, today we just discovered that we're not just millionaires, we're multi-millionaires. <laughs> and uh, it's been this way for, you know, almost a year now. People a millionaire. are probably wondering, like, don't you look at your bank account? Yeah, no, seriously, like, I, I've always, I was always told it would be this way, like, you're just so focused on your work and your career that you don't realize that, you know, you're, you become a millionaire. And, like, you know, I'm like, that's stupid, because I check my bank account, like, regularly, I'm always on top of that, right? Right. But, um... But you went to business school. Right, and, uh, the definition of a millionaire is not that you have a million dollars in cash in the bank unless all you have is cash. Uh, the definition of a millionaire is uh, a person who has uh, more than a million dollars in net worth. It's your net worth. And it means uh, like how much you have in assets. Mm. And uh, I know that uh, like Ego is gonna take this video and <laughs> use it as an example of how we're such scammers. Don't do that, please. Oh my not god. Not very nice. Well, it's, uh, it's not very nice to you. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you go back in our channel, we, uh, you know, we were driving that shitty Saturn. <laughs> and you saw us grocery shopping. And just a few years later, we're here telling you that we're literally multi-millionaires. Yeah. So uh, if you say, you know, what scammers we are, like, you're really just hurting yourself. Because we're here to offer this wealth to you. We're not going to hand out, you know, hand you our assets. We're going to hand you our, our, the true assets that we have. Mm. Um, and that's our, our wisdom, our knowledge, our understanding. And we're sharing our, our, our being with you. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that's wealthy. And that's the only thing that you need to be far wealthier than we are, you know, before you today. So let me explain you know, exactly what I mean by multimillionaire. And, uh, and we want to take this opportunity to kind of reminisce about our, you know, our financial journeys to get to this point. Yeah. Literally this morning, I was brushing my teeth. It's been a ride. And I'm like, I'm like thinking about some, some math because I'm a business person and I like math about my company. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm a fucking millionaire. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. So um, net worth means the value of your assets. Like how much money your assets are worth. Mm -hmm. So if you have stocks and they're worth a million dollars, you're a millionaire. If you have cash and you have a million dollars cash or more, you're a millionaire. If you have uh, you know, real estate or uh, companies then, that are worth more than a million dollars, you're a millionaire. And uh, Twin Flames Universe is actually valued at uh, more than you know, a million dollars, closer to $2 million. And they value that. Maybe a little more business lesson that you're looking for today, but uh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. They yeah. value it at uh, five times your, you know, yearly profit. So mm -hmm. you can probably do a little math and find out how much money we make in a year from our company. Um, and that came through uh, enormous effort to share our gift, and that's the big secret, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we knew all along. Is that in order to have you have to give. Mm. And uh, there's nothing that I can say right now that the haters aren't going to point their finger and say, look at these scammers. Like, <laughs> it's, it's completely unavoidable at this point because if you're going to be mad at me for having wealth, uh, you're really just angry at yourself for... Not you know, having wealth. Not the, having, or having wealth. The wealth that you desire anyway. That's what mm -hmm. I've always found. You uh, just see wealth as evil, but the reality is that uh, like wealth is divine. Mm. And it's what you use it for. It's what it is to you that, you know, determines whether you're doing good with it or whether you're not serving yourself with it. So mm -hmm. if you look at a beautiful, you know, glorious palace, isn't that what you imagine heaven to be? You go to heaven and you think it's just like... A hut. Yeah, a hut. A little farm maybe that, you know... <laughs> maybe, I mean, maybe that's your definition Could of heaven, Could be a fixer-upper, right? I don't know. Maybe that's your definition, right? But... But once you understand that, like... Everyone's dreams are made possible in heaven. Once you understand that uh, wealth is just the receiving of the gifts of your 
siblings and God, you understand that wealth is a really beautiful thing. Mm. Like, take this picture. Is it Archangel Michael here? Yeah, there it is. Michael. Some artist took their time to depict Archangel Michael in a really beautiful and heavenly way. And I think this is actually the first thing Shelley and I ever bought together. Was it, yeah. Yeah. Was it Michael? Yeah. It was, yep. Oh, okay. We went to a, you know, yeah. a crystal shop in Sedona, and you're like, oh, I want this. And I'm like, I want it too. Let's buy it together. Ah. Yeah. That's probably been sitting there all through T-Fest classes. It was. It? I didn't know it was that picture. I knew it was like that was the one. a picture like from mm -hmm. that store. Yeah. That's exactly that. Oh, that's sweet. So uh, the artists took their time to create that picture and, and to be with Michael and to, you know, do all that. George Michael Marius is his name. Oh, that's the artist? That's the artist's name, yeah. Provided this uh, beautiful picture and it brings us so much peace and, and joy. Yeah. And, you know, George Michael shared his, uh, his vision of Michael with us and it's, you know, we get to be blessed by it. And uh, we're blessed by lots of gifts from lots of people. Because uh, we've given a lot to, uh, to all. Mm -hmm. And that's the real secret to all. And I'm not going to give you, you know, a big life purpose class sermon. Because we do that. <laughs> we, we literally have, you know, uh, 150 hours? 150 hours like of, that, of classes. Yeah. Uh, no, there's more than that. It's gotta, yeah, no, it's 150 hours. That's it. It was a little bit more because we did shot 108 classes at 90 minutes each. Mm -hmm. So anyway, over 150 hours of uh, us teaching this um how to have your you know life purpose which means how to find you know the thing that you're created to do and then how to do it and how to uh, live a life of abundance with it so uh, it's much better to have wealth than to not have wealth now you don't have to be super wealthy to uh, have wealth you don't need to be a billionaire or a millionaire you just need to understand and this is for you I, yeah. I'm not saying this is for you here. You just need to understand that wealth is good. It's much better to be sitting in a chair that's really nice and comfortable ah, than something that's broken and poking you in the back. Well, it's, that's not supportive. The whole point right. is to support yourself. More support, better. Less support, not as good as more support. So you always want to be striving to give more and in return you receive more so that you may give more. Yeah. So uh, now that we got some basic wealth lessons uh, forward, and also the other, the hidden lesson here is you can't be afraid of the naysayers or the haters. You can't be afraid of what ego is gonna say. Yeah, because and, you're always wrong to them. Oh, There's it, always something wrong If we were, we were poor, <laughs> oh, ego hated us. Oh, they hate us and we were poor. We're rich, yeah. ego hates us. We're on our way to being rich, Ego hates us. You can yeah. never win. You can never be the right amount of rich or poor of having money or not right. having money. No one didn't really want to listen to us when we, you know, didn't have a lot of money, didn't have a good, nice background, living with roommates because we could only afford roommates. And mm -hmm. that's some people did, of course. Not everyone is like well, there's that. There's always going to be someone to love you. Of but course. Ego is yeah. never going to love you. They're never just, eh, right. So it's never ego good has yeah. many mouths to uh, yap through. And many dislike buttons, uh, uh, fingers to, to click dislike buttons. Yeah, which is ironic because it only pushes the algorithm, our video up Thank further you. on the algorithm. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the interaction. Yeah, really. Keep disliking and it makes us more popular. <laughs> That's the funny thing about ego is it never achieves the end to uh, take you down. And that's what we hope that our lives are a like lesson for a testament, a testament to. Testament to yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We hope you inspire. We hope we inspire you to never give up. Never give up. Never yeah. surrender. <laughs> we always face down our challenges without fear, and mm -hmm. fear is simply like a darkness and a hiding. And all you have to do is really go into that place where the fear says, "You better not go here, or you're going to get attacked by me even more, or by something else." Mm -hmm. And then you go there, and you know. Fear goes ape shit, but then the light goes on and it's gone. Right. As if it was never there, because it never was. Right. It was only a lie. Yeah. So I'm sure you're going to see lots of dislikes on this video and, uh, uh you know, It doesn't really matter. Comments don't, and delete. Don't give images. Don't give, don't give, like, nope. you know, power to it. Like, this is my guru right here. I don't know, like, I don't know why you're still talking about it. It doesn't really matter. You need to move through it. Mm -hmm. We're stepping into a big, you know, a big new wave on our channel. We're back. Too fast is completed. We're back. Yeah, we're back. We're gonna keep shooting more videos. Yeah, this is terrible. I know so many of you guys have missed us, and we've missed you too. We've been 
busy uh, shooting Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class for like mm-hmm. two and a half years. Building and your then, company. You know, we took uh, this past August off to, you know, chill out. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just finished shooting in July and then we had that Toronto Talks workshop. It was a nice sold out big workshop. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we took August off more or less. And mm-hmm. here we are. And now we're back. And this now we're back. Yeah. Lifestyle of the multi multimillionaires of the rich and famous. <laughs> Now we have time to YouTube, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you work and, uh, and then you work and then you work and then you work. And work has to be something that's like really pleasant to you to be able to work at the level that you need to in order to, you know, become very wealthy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I just want to like spend, you know, I guess to the, the meat of the video here, I want to spend a few minutes talking about our journey because, okay. you know, you guys met us when we were broke like as a joke <laughs> like, yeah we yeah we had no money and then we got like as soon as we started we had like very little money and we were like you know a couple thousand dollars in uh in wealth and then we had less than no money as we got together <laughs> and things fell apart in our lives yeah we're just figuring it out you know because like uh neither of us were you know into working like a regular job i guess the the type of like work that like our our parents generation would have raised us for like there was no internet you know not really not until I was well I mean I was you know an older child I guess when the internet really came about and so uh, yeah like there's so much more freedom now in creating your own income and Mm -hmm. you know I think it's less about you know, having to work like as a cog in a machine and more like just being your creative self. And mm-hmm. there, you know, the way that our society is moving toward, I believe. And I, I think there's a book that talk about like the fourth, um, the fourth industrial revolution or something like that. And anyway, mm-hmm. it's talking about like where this next step in humanity is, is going. Cause you know, like, a lot of these factories are roboticized is that the word yeah Yeah. Um, so like we're being freed up and i think it's a really wonderful thing because we can pursue creative avenues uh for income and of uh, self-expression and you have to create you can't like Mm -hmm. you can't do work you can't expect a, a forever career in you know like basic you know mechanical tasks you're a divine being, you're creative, you're creative being. Everyone gets bored doing mechanical tasks, just admit it. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did, that's all I did. I started working at nine years old. I delivered newspaper six out of seven days of the week mm-hmm. until I was 15. Thereupon, I, I worked every weekend, every summer. Like, I've been working. So the solution to, you know, the robotic revolution right. is uh, cr- living your life purpose. Yeah. And, you know, creating. It's what I always wanted. And that uh, you gotta, we've gotta learn new ways to give value. But that the way for you has always been, you know, what's in your whispering heart? in your heart. Yeah. And then you just follow that, and you keep going with it. Like, you know, we didn't know we'd end up here, and uh, but here we are, and we feel really good about it. We feel really good about our wealth. Yeah. And uh, we feel really good about everything that we're doing and everything that our work is doing. And mm-hmm. everyone around us feels really good about it. Yeah. And like for us, like uh, when we talk about in our book, um, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover, how uh, in our shared values, like, um, you know, money was kind of up there because um, having to, you know, basically survive is really painful. And it does... Um, like it would have pressed on our relationship because we wouldn't have been able to spend as much time together. And also like we want to raise a family together, like in the house, side by side, not, you know, dad goes off to work, leaves me with the kids or drop them off at daycare. That might work for some families and oh. that's totally fine. But for me and Jeff, like we always wanted to like be supported to stay at home and like raise our kid and, you know. All your thoughts about not money not being a good thing are absurd. They're mm-hmm. illusion. They're fear-based. Money is a wonderful thing. And we've never said and we'll never teach that you want to pursue money because that means you're going to start giving up things that really matter more than money. Yeah. But you don't leave money out. Mm-hmm. 
It has to be included in the entire picture of life. It's obvious. So it's time for uh, everyone to stop feeling guilty about money. Especially spiritual people. There, mm-hmm. I find spiritual people have the really not so nice thoughts about money and wealth. Mm-hmm. You know, the most depressing thoughts about it. Yeah, it's you know, you don't have, and this is the solution, right? This we came to that too, and we discovered you know, money is a wonderful, healthy thing. Mm-hmm. But it's really about how you go about earning it that makes the difference. It's not worth yeah. it to you know drain your life away for money. It's not. No. But if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't give of yourself at all and you have no money, it's not worth it either. The solution right. is living your life purpose, and we take you through that in life purpose class, which you can find at the links below. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk about that journey that we took. Okay. From, yeah. Of going from because we we have a rags to riches story. Like we were fucking poor. You can watch us on our YouTube channel. Yeah. You could see what we were buying. When we went grocery I think, shopping. Um, you know when uh you know I'm in my 30s now, but when I was in my 20s, like. Throughout my entire 20s, I made about $12,000 a year. That was pretty normal for me. Mm-hmm. And even when we got together, that was about the same amount of money we were making, plus even combined, I think. You know, I was making We that. made like almost nothing when we uh, first got together. <laughs> yeah, we were <laughs> figuring it out, I guess. There was a... There were months where our food budget for both of us combined was like $80. <laughs> yeah. So we had, you know, hot dogs and fish sticks fish sticks that were in the oven were like a luxury for us yeah and you know we wrote a book around that time like we were Mm. really focused on our life purpose and Mm. we could have done it the slow way or the fast way the slow way would have been to work part-time or work full-time and like moonlight Mm. but for us like we were able to completely devote full-time um to our life purpose and uh, we were very like clear that like you know if we had to moonlight we would, mm-hmm. but um, we felt like for us it was most compassionate to do it the faster Direct. the faster way which yeah it was probably uncom it was uncomfortable <laughs> at times for a lot of you that's uncomfortable or maybe impossible to do especially if you have teach you how to do the compassion kids way. maybe but. You know, you have to do what's compassionate for you and for us because we were young, we were in our 20s, we didn't have a big life, obviously you don't have a family. So yeah, we were able to just push through that really uncomfortable time with money. And then it happened, you know, we just started getting clients and you know, our videos started picking up, our YouTube channels started picking up. I remember we got our first like AdSense paycheck and that was like dollars were like oh my god i know (laughs) that was really nice i'm like oh people are loving our videos they're watching them yay so um yeah like uh yeah it's been like a really nice journey and you know we it really started we uh did twin flame coaching and then opened up our school and i think you know the biggest piece isn't you know (laughs) because they're always copycats like oh well, we'll just do that but it's having something that's a real substance that actually helps people, actually transforms and changes their lives. That makes your product eternal, makes your business like your something, work. your work means something in someone's life and not like a disposable thing. And then you're always having to go out and get the next client, get the next client. We have an extremely high retention rate because we love our people. Mm-hmm. We love everyone that comes. And because like for us, like it's not about money at all. Like that's, that's not how we got here. That's not how we got here. It was through our passion and our purpose. It's about service. To see twin flames in harmonious union, all like everywhere, like every single person on the planet, and we decided like we're gonna stay on this planet until that happens, and we're really happy to continue serving humanity in this way. And so when you have a high level service, like money just naturally happens to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you want to serve so that you can be served. And the end result, the goal is complete and total happiness for you. And you can't be happy if you're not sharing that happiness with others. Mm-hmm. There's no, I'm happy and you're not. Haha, ha, I took your hat. That right. doesn't exist. Right. We get accused of that pretty often that we're taking like the happiness from others. But <laughs> that was, that's what makes us happy. <laughs> but it's just, that's so impossible. That's, oh that's literally God. insane. You cannot take someone else's happiness no. You can only offer happiness, and that's the only way that you can be happy. Right. Is be happy and extend that happiness. Share your joy. Share your joy. And uh, that's that's our message. That's how you become wealthy. Mm-hmm. 
And like I said, I'm gonna say this again because I'm just so we're just so jazzed about Life Purpose class. You, you need to check it out. The first three classes are free. They're free on YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check you out the links below here. to them. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to say one more thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, if you're pursuing just the money, you're not gonna be happy. No. It's not. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for the money. I've got the money. I've got a Porsche. I got a Corvette. I've got toys. I've got a nice house. We're gonna move into a big house. I got a designer dog. Shalia's got books and makeup and perfume. We we got it all. And I'll tell you, it ain't worth it for just the money. No. Not even close. It's not. The, what you have to give to have what we have. Right. Mm -mm. Don't don't do it for that. If someone said to me I'd have to choose between my bank account and Jeff, I'd always choose Jeff. Oh. <laughs> sure. Like here, I take everything. <laughs> I, I know what it took to become a multimillionaire yeah. in four years. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it for the money. I promise. I promise. Yeah. Take it from me. If you're doing it for the money, when you get there, you won't be happy. And then you're right. gonna have to do what I showed you from the beginning which is focus on service and offering a service that matters to you. And then when you have that, you can multiply that. You can, you know, business it. You can turn it into right. widgets. You can, Cause, you know. Uh, I think like when you do something that matters to you, then it actually feels personal to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really want to share this. People respond to it. People respond, you know, like... I'm always convinced by a salesperson when I know that they truly have something that's changed their lives and mm -hmm. they want to help, you know, maybe change mine if I'm open to it. The salesperson who sold yeah. us our Porsche had the exact same thing. Had exact same thing. Yeah, you, you like really same sold with, us. Same with our bed too. I was not fully convinced on our bed and mm -hmm. this guy, the salesperson was like, look, like it's changed my life. Like I have one, like... <laughs> and he's showing me all around and I'm like hmm they're nice and even showing me statistics I'm like oh my god this is so nice the energy you have to put in to get the things that are this nice is not worth it given alone yeah. but it becomes a natural automatic passionate expression of self mm -hmm. when you give it as a result of like love love only love matters and you'll soon come soon come to find out Hopefully in this lifetime or in the next, you will find that out. You will eventually find out because this is the question that everyone's always asking themselves uh, every day, all the time. Is you know, is this a world of love or is this a world where love is impossible? And I'm telling you, like love is possible. Mm -hmm. So remember that and know that that's the truth, and uh, you'll soon find. Life just starts coming together in a really nice, nice way. All the things in your <laughs> life reflect that love within. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Keep watching. You know, smash that uh, subscribe button. Yeah. If you want to find out what love is like, because <laughs> we're just going to keep providing it. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.